There's been a rash of armed robberies in Salt Lake and Utah counties. Many times the thieves hit places at night where a lone clerk is working the graveyard shift. That puts the employee in a very dangerous situation, but in many recent cases, the employees are fighting back. Should they? That's what we said Amanda Butterfield to find out. Well, just last night, a man robbed a Salt Lake 7-Eleven store and the employee put up a fight. Well, we've dug out a lot of surveillance videos showing employees fighting back and asked a professional, is that the right thing to do? While Green employees and Kearns were not about to let this bad guy get away, when the man jumped the counter, the fight was on. And a year or two back, another pharmacy employee, Jason Dunn, was so tired of being a victim, he chased a would-be robber down the street with a golf club. You let them get away, and then they're going to come back. Just last night, a man walked into this 7-Eleven in Salt Lake and told the clerk he would shoot if he didn't hand over money. Well, the clerk argued with the robber, and the robber took off empty-handed. Legally, do they have the right to? Absolutely. They have the right to defend themselves uh, from harm or anybody else from harm, and also their property, their store or their business, whatever it happens to be. Sergeant Justin Chapman understands the frustration of employees who don't want to be victims and have that fight response. But Chapman admits he and others in his profession would rather this happen. Look at this surveillance video from a Salt Lake 7-Eleven that was robbed in January. The suspect was armed with a knife. The clerk kind of moved out of the way and this person em essentially emptied the till and left the store. Money can be replaced through insurance, uh, items can be replaced, but of course that person, if that in individual is, is hurt, that's going to be difficult to recover from. In Utah County early this morning, a motel clerk decided it wasn't worth the risk to fight when a man walked in with a gun. Pointing this handgun at the, the clerk. Um, he only said four words. He said, give me the money. The clerk did as told. So we really want to be careful about where, what we would advise an individual to do. Uh, we don't want to put them in harm's way. Now, just to see if the economy and recession is driving crime, we got some numbers from the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office. We found the number of robberies reported in January from the past two years is pretty consistent, even down a bit. 16 robberies in 2008, 13 in 2009. Back to you. Thank you, Amanda Butterfield. You sort of pay attention to a car.